Welcome to the Norwegian Getaway. This is Jason here. I was on the getaway for a wonderful seven day cruise. I'm gonna do a full tour. Check this out. We're gonna go ahead and get started on deck 15 right here at the main pool area. Let's do a quick walkthrough of deck 15. Right here is the kids area and the water slides. Straight ahead all the way to the back is the buffet area. Let's walk all the way through. You'll see how big it is. And all the way here at the back of the buffet, they have some really nice windows. Let's start at the main pool area on deck 15. So keep in mind, there are two pool areas on the Norwegian getaway. There's the kids area right here with the water slides. And then right in front of that is the main pool area. So let's go ahead and jump down to deck 15. Straight ahead is where the bands play. There's a stage, which is really cool because during the sea days, they'll have bands and DJs throughout the entire cruise, which is conveniently located right in front of the pool. The pool area has an abundance of hot tubs. There are four. A couple of them are shaded, which is nice. There are also a couple of hot tubs that are on either side of the stage. These are not shaded. There are two bars here in the main pool area. Check it out. Both of the bars have stools going around the bar, which is really cool because you can sit at the bar or you can sit along the edge of the pool right here. A lot of people like to do that. They grab a drink and come over here and sit on the side of the pool. Here you can see both of the bars. The deck above the pool area has a lot of loungers if you want to lie out in the sun. Let's check out the other pool. Right here in the other pool area, there are a couple of little pools with a little divider. There is the kids splash area right here to the right. Now, if you look up, you're going to see the water slides. There are plenty of water slides. There are water slides where the floor drops out from underneath you. There's water slides for little kids. And there's also a water slide where you're going to go down on a raft. Over here is the towel area. Now, right in front of the buffet area, there's a little bar over here. So if the bars over by the pool area are a little busy, come over here in front of the buffet. There's usually not a line here. Right here is the buffet area. This is the garden buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Here in a little bit, we're gonna go down to the lower decks and we're gonna take a look at the main dining venues. But just keep in mind that the buffet is available for you to come in at any of the meal times. Keep in mind that the getaway is part of the breakaway class. There is also the breakaway plus class. I have all those videos on the channel if you'd like to check them out. But here's the thing, if you'd like to book either one of those ships, make sure you give us a call. Here's how we do it. We have a very high volume with Norwegian Cruise Lines. We promote their ships, so they allow us to provide you with a discounted rate. You're still gonna receive all the promotions they offer. However, when you give us a call, we're gonna provide you with additional savings. You must give us a call to get this rate because these rates are unpublished. Let's take a look at the Mandra Spa and Salon and the fitness area. We're gonna go all the way down this corridor. We're still on deck 15. Right when you walk in, the barbershop is over here to the left and the salon is over to the right. One thing I really like about the spa area is that they have amazing thermal suites. Let's check those out. This is a Thalasso therapy pool. There is also a hot tub over here to the left there are comfortable heated chairs throughout the entire area. What I like about it is the steam room, the sauna, and the salt bath. Is what we all like to do when we're in here is we like to go in between each of the rooms. I like to start off with the sauna, relax in one of the chairs a little bit, take a shower, head on over to the lasso therapy pool, and then go into the salt room, and then the steam room. Right here is the fitness center. The fitness center has plenty of free weights, dumbbells, machines, all the exercise balls. Also, if you wanna take a spinning class, that's available. There is also a, another exercise room which has all the running machines, stair masters. This is pretty cool because they have nice views of the ocean while you're cruising. A lot of people like to come in here in the morning and run a little bit before their day gets started. Take a look at this. Over here is where they offer yoga classes, but you can also come in here on your own when they're not offering classes, grab a mat and do some yoga if you're a pro at it and you don't need the class. All the way in the back of the ship is one of my favorite areas. It's Spice H2O. During the day, this is an adult only area where you can relax and lie in the sun. There's also movies here at night on that big screen. There are a couple of hot tubs. There's also a bar over here in the corner. 
Right next to the bar is the smoking section. In front of that are tables and chairs with nice umbrellas. If you want to hang out here during the day and you get a little hot, they have this nice refreshing area where you can come on over, relax, lay down, and cool off a little bit. I had mentioned that there were some loungers above the pool area. That's deck 16. Let's take a quick stroll down deck 16. We're just gonna head up the stairs here and take a look at this. We're at the ropes course and the basketball court. The basketball court is right here in the middle. The ropes course is on either side of the basketball court. There is a zip line that goes right over the basketball court, which is really cool. There are actually two. There's one going this way and one going the other way. Let's head back down to deck 15. Check it out. We're going to go right up these stairs, up to deck 16, and check out the American Diner. Enjoy a nice piece of Americana here in an old-fashioned type diner setting. You can order dishes such as lobster rolls or crispy chicken. Right here is the video arcade. It's right across the way from American Diner. The arcade does not take any money. You'll need your key card to go ahead and play these games. You will not need any actual money on the cruise unless you want to leave a tip. Let's take a look at the Haven area. This area is exclusive to guests who are staying in Haven Suites. This area has a comfortable place to relax and sit down. There is a bar. When booking a Haven Suite or booking a regular cabin with Norwegian, it's very important to know how their promotions work how their beverage packages work, their dining packages. So when you call us, make sure that's the first question you ask us. Besides having an exclusive restaurant for Haven guests, there are also many other amenities, such as butler service, concierge. There's also priority M and debarkation. But take a look at this. Haven guests also get their own pool area and sun tanning area. Check this out. The pool area has a couple of hot tubs. The way the area works is, is that to be able to enter in to this section, you must have a key card. Well, let's go up a deck. Up here, you're gonna find some nice comfy chairs. Now, if you look over to the right here, you're gonna see a sun tanning area. This area is also exclusive to Haven guests. So the amenities of the Haven area are the restaurant, the lounging area, the bar, all the services that they offer, and the really cool promotions that you can get with a Haven Suite. And of course, just remember to ask us about those promotions when you call us. Let's take a look at another exclusive area. This is the Vibe Beach Club. The Vibe Beach Club is exclusive for guests who pay for the pass. The pass is not that much. You can go check it out at guest services when you're on board. You can either get a day pass or you can get a pass for the entire week. Here you're gonna find a couple of bars, loungers, cabanas, a couple of hot tubs, Try it out on a sea day. See how you like it. Let's head on down to deck six. We're gonna take a look at the venues here. Right here is guest services in the atrium bar, the atrium lounge. Right here is six, seven, and eight, where you're gonna find the French restaurant and headliners. All the way to the back here is the mix bar. We also have a couple of dining venues right here. These are complimentary dining venues. You're gonna come on in and sit down, order from the menu. There is absolutely no charge. The menu will change a little bit daily. However, the menu pretty much stays the same between all of the main dining venues. For example, over here at the Taste, which is right across the hall, is the same exact menu. Different restaurant, different name, same menu. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right here in the center is six, seven, and eight. This is where a lot of action happens because a lot of people are going between the different decks using these staircases right here. There's a beautiful chandelier right here in the middle. It's coming from the ceiling of deck eight and goes down right here in to deck six. Here on deck six in the middle is Le Bistro and Headliners. Headliners is the comedy club, Le Bistro is the French restaurant. Le Bistro is part of the specialty dining. A lot of times when you book your cabin, you'll have promotions included with that cabin. And a lot of times you'll have a dining package. Teppanyaki is the Japanese restaurant. This is the type of dining where the Japanese chefs cook the food right in front of you. This is also part of the specialty dining. Headliners is the comedy club. In addition to comedians, they also have the piano shows. The piano player is gonna play songs that you like to sing along with, and they are funny. This right here is the Atrium Bar. It overlooks the Atrium. 
Here in the atrium, you can enjoy many different activities throughout the entire cruise. There's pretty much always gonna be something going on in here. Over here in the corner of the atrium is Connect. If you have any trouble connecting to the internet via your laptop or your phone, you can come on over here and they will help you out. Also next to the atrium bar is a Starbucks. If you want free coffee, that's available 24 seven in the buffet area. Right across from the atrium is guest services. You'll also find a lot of other services here such as restaurant reservations. If you have any issues with things like shore excursions, you can come over here and ask all the questions that you need. Also, you'll find your cruise consultant here. Here you can book your next cruise. If you book it here or you put down a deposit, they have lots of incentives. So make sure you check that out while you're on board. Do you like dinner shows? While you're on board, come on in to the Illusionarium. Make sure you make your reservations before you get on board. Well, let's take a look at deck seven. Right here is O'Shea's, the restaurant and the bar. In the middle is the casino. If we keep going forward, we're gonna run into the Bliss Nightclub and Shanghai's. And straight ahead is the Tropicana. This is also part of the main dining. So you have the savor, the taste. Up a deck here in the back is Tropicana. Remember, they all have the same menus. Here in the Tropicana though, you can enjoy live music. It's awesome. That's why I like the Tropicana the best. If I'm gonna dine in the main dining room, I usually do not go to taste or savor. Here is bar 21. Bar 21 is right outside of the Bliss nightclub. The nightclub can get a little bit busy, so you might wanna grab a drink at bar 21 before you go in. Right across from bar 21 is Shanghai's. This is the noodle bar. The noodle bar is 100% complimentary, yay! Right next to the noodle bar is right where the casino begins if you're coming from the back of the ship and it goes all the way to the middle of the ship. So it's a full casino, so you can play poker, roulette, blackjack. You can also play craps, baccarat. Are you a high roller? Well, don't worry because there is a private room right over here just for you. Make sure you let them know when you check in. Let's take a look at Oshihan's bar and grill. So there are two sides to Oshihan's. Over here is the restaurant. The restaurant is open all the time. Depending on the ship, it may close at 3 a.m., but it's usually open 24 seven. Over here is the bar. You can sit up at the bar or at these tables, but take a look at this. You can look right down into the atrium from here. There's a little bowling alley. There's also a bunch of fun games to play air hockey, pool, and darts. The dart machines and the pool table are right across from the bar. Okay, let's go ahead and head on in to the theater. The theater is all the way at the front of the ship. You'll have to walk through the box office. Here in the theater, you're gonna find a good wide variety of entertainment shows, magic shows, musicals. Also in the morning, if you've booked an excursion and are heading out, most likely you will meet in here in the morning. Well, let's take a look at deck eight. Up here in the front is Sid Norman's, the Italian restaurant and the whiskey bar. Straight ahead here is Wasabi, the sushi place, the raw bar, Ocean Blue and Sugar Game. Then straight ahead are the stores and then Moderno and Cagney's. Right here in between Moderno and Cagney's is the Prime Meridian Bar. A wonderful spot to have a drink before you head on in to one of these dining venues. This is Cagney's Steakhouse. This is part of the specialty dining. If you'd like a prime steak and are in the mood for an excellent dinner, head on into Cagney's. Remember, if you have the dining package, this is covered in that package. Over here across from the Meridian Bar is Moderno. This is a Brazilian churrascaria. It's a really neat addition to a cruise ship. They're opening all over in the US now. The way it works is that somebody comes by with a skewer of meat, cuts a piece off on your plate, and you can have all you want. And you can have unlimited side dishes. You can get those at the buffet. If you'd like, you can sit out here on the waterfront. All of the dining venues on deck eight have access to the waterfront. The waterfront is a wonderful place to stroll. It's here on deck eight. It goes around most of the ship, the back side of the ship. It doesn't go all the way around to the front of the ship, but it goes all, mostly around the, sh the entire ship. All of the bars and restaurants have access to the waterfront. So if you'd like to sit outside, that's available to you. 
right here on deck eight on the waterfront you'll find the bake shop here you'll enjoy a wide variety of cupcakes macaroons delicious delights you can also enjoy gelato or a starbucks coffee come by and check it out just keep in mind that this is not included in your cruise fare so let's head on in from deck eight remember we're at the front of the ship we're headed toward the back here you'll find the stores, the boutiques, the jewelry shops. You can check out the photos that the photographers take of you while you're on the ship. Here in the middle of the ship on deck eight is the sugarcane mojito bar. At night, it's fun. You can listen to live music, hang out here at the bar. There's a couple of nice comfortable couches. You can also head on out to the ocean front and have a drink if you like. It's nice to sit out here and enjoy the ocean views. Right across from the sugarcane mojito bar is the raw bar. The Raw Bar is part of Ocean Blue. Ocean Blue is the specialty seafood restaurant. Keep in mind that Ocean Blue is here in the center of Deck 8, so if we come out, we can look down into 6, 7, and 8. Here in Ocean Blue, you can order delicious seafood, get amazing appetizers, such as their ahi tuna and avocado tower. But if you're with somebody who doesn't like seafood, they do offer steaks such as filet mignon. Remember here, you can also sit outside because we are on deck eight and all the venues go out here to the waterfront. Let's head on back inside. So right across from Ocean Blue, check this out, is Wasabi. Wasabi is the sushi bar. Is what's cool about the sushi bar is that even though it's a la carte, it's still included in the dining package. So you can get a couple of items on that menu. Now, right next to the sugarcane mojito bar, is Sky Vodka. This is the ice bar. If you've never tried this, you'll have to try it. It's a lot of fun. It's freezing cold in here. I forget what the temperature is, but you're gonna need a jacket. Check this out. When you walk in, one of the things that I enjoyed most about the ice bar was that their drinks can be made in a glass which is made of ice. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I actually came in here without a jacket, and yeah, it was cold. Check it out, I decided to take a picture with me with these wings. It's a pretty neat room, I liked it, so check it out when you get a chance. Just make sure you make a reservation. Down the way here, right around the corner from the ice bar, is a sunset bar. This is the whiskey bar. Here you can enjoy specialty whiskeys. I recommend that you try the Macallan tasting. And of course, outside, it goes right onto the ocean front. Here you'll also find the cigar bar. You do not need to bring your own cigars. If you can, great. But if not, they'll sell them here for you. This is Sid Norman's. This is an extremely popular venue. If you like rock and roll and you're gonna see one of the shows, get here a little bit early. Grab one of these seats right up front. Now, if you don't get here early, it's pretty cool because there's a bar all the way over here to the side and there's usually space available over by the bar. Across from Sid Norman's is La Cucina. This is the Italian restaurant. This is also part of the specialty dining. Remember, whether you book with us or you book directly with the cruise line, you're gonna go on their website and do your online check-in. When you do that, you can make reservations to all the restaurants if you like. When I was on board, I didn't have to do that. I could just walk right on in, but it's always recommended that you make your reservations beforehand. Hey guys, I'm finished with the tour. Thank you for joining me. My name is Jason Newquist. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call.